everyone. I'm Chistakhvalov Mikhail. I'm the curator of the Unreal Engine 5 courses of Teach School. In this video, I would like to show you the creation process of this small scene. Start the modeling of the box. I'll create a box of the required size and delete one of its facets. There will be the exit. In the place where the pass is, under the window, I'll make the same one. I'll add an edge. Select the thickness using the chamfer. Then I'll make an extrude to deepen the pass. In the same step, I'll create a terrace. In the picture you can see the lats. I'll create something similar to that. Now I'll start modulating the stairs. But first, I'll create an overlap. Using the line, I'm making a form. Then I need to align it with the walls. Now using the extrude modification, I'm going to create the overlap. It will be 300 mm. Then I'll place it at the necessary height. I'll create the stairs using the standard instrument, the straight stair. I set the necessary parameters. The length will be 6 meters. Width will be 1 meter and 30. Also I set the floor height. I'll select the necessary quantity of the stairs. The height of the stairs will be of the standard size. I'll set the thickness of the stairs. Now I need only to remove the unnecessary elements. The stairs are ready. I'll place them in the right place. I'll make a railing for the stairs using the line instrument. I'll apply the extrude modificator. Now I'll make the stair railing also using the line and extrude. I'll place it in the necessary place. Now it's the bench's turn. I'll make it using the box. That'll be the top part of the bench. I'll also make the legs using the box. The bench is done. I'll make the floor using the floor generator instrument. I'll set the necessary parameters. In the Unreal, the floor texture will be set using 6 materials. I'll make a multi-material of 6 materials in 3D Max. Then I'll paint them in different colors to make it easier to set the materials for different floor elements. The material location on the floor elements will be regulated by ID. ID can be set by the material by element modificator or manually. I'll do it manually. So the desk's textures will be in these places where I need them to be. Then I'll set the UV map modificator on all the materials of the scene with the following side size 1000, 1000, 1000. It needed to the textures to apply correctly. Now I need to make a chamfer on the stairs. Chamfer will also be present on the other parts of the scene. Now I need to make the other side of the box. Now I need to export all parts of the scene to FBX format by default settings. Now I will create a project with default settings and original content in the Unreal. 
Ale Denesser catalogs for model, texture and material placing. I'll create an empty level and name it. Then I'll place a light source. This will be directional light. Now we need to import the models. In the import settings, I'll turn off the texture import as well as light maps on rep creation. I'll place the objects inside the scene. I need to transport them to the region of the coordinates. Now they are placed as in the 3D Max. Now I'll set the light source and add all the other necessary scene elements. Sky atmosphere, mist, skylight and post process. Now I'll set the angle and create the camera. In the camera settings, I'll set the size radio and focus distance and regulate the position in that way, so it all would look like the original picture. Continue with the light settings. To make it more similar with the reference, I'll create some rectangular lights and place them in that way, so the shadows are in the same places as in the reference. In order to make the light look beautiful, it's important to choose the brightness balance and the right placement for the light sources. I always compare the result to the reference. The process of the light setting can require a lot of time. In order to expel the parasite shades from the global light, I need to discolor the mist and the skylight. Move to the material setting. I'll take the materials for walls from the Megascan collections. This is a plaster material. Then I'll regulate the parameters the way I need to. For the terraces material, I use the same plaster with different parameters. Now I'll set the wooden materials for the stairs and the bench. I've got the textures prepared. I'll use the multi-purpose material. I'll create the instance from this material and upload the stairs texture. I'll duplicate the stairs material. This will be the bench's material. I'll change its texture. Fix the talent parameters. Turn it. Then change the brightness and contrast values, as well as roughness and reflection. To create the floor material, I'll create the instance from the basic material, and create another instance from this instance for the other floor elements. I'll create six of them. So if I change the first instance, other instances, depending on it, will change as well. This is very comfortable, because if I regulate the first material, others will regulate as well. For example, if I decrease the saturation or increase the brightness, all materials will change the same parameters. Set the separate plank texture for each of the dependent materials. Now I'll set the main floor material. You can see that the other materials change with it. I'll create one more instance from the basic material. That'll be the railing material. I'll make the final corrections of the light sources and their location. That'll help me achieve the result close to the reference. I always check the picture and compare it to my work. Light setting is a delicate process that takes a lot of time. In Unreal there are quite a plenty of materials and they let you achieve almost any result you want. We don't 
don't know where the light was placed in the picture, how it was falling or where it was located. But in Unreal there are plenty of materials that allow you to achieve the same effect. As you can see my work became similar to the real photo. I'll make the last changes in the light source to get the same highlights as on the reference. There's only one thing left – to add the plant's shadow in the upper corner. I'll use the plants from the Megascan library. It's not important what kind of plants it is and what its materials are. The most important thing is that the plant creates the similar shadow. I'll add some changes to the camera settings. Set the focus point of the sharpness's depth. I'll also change the settings of the second camera. So, I think the result is great. Now I can do rendering. I'll create the sequence, add some cameras and set it. I'll change the frames format. I'll render it using the movie render queue. Enable the anti-aliasing to get the high quality image. I'll also set the necessary frame size. The rendering is done. I'll do the rendering of the second camera. Now I only need to do some post-processing and then the pictures will be ready. I'm satisfied with the result. I'll set some standard settings in the Photoshop – contrast, brightness as well as some adjustments. picture becomes more spectacular. I'll add a small and beautiful highlight on the wall. Thank you for watching.